Welcome traders to another Tickmill Weekly Market Outlook for week commencing Monday the 17th of October. Heading to the US, the latest job and inflation readings have cemented expectations of a 75 basis point hike from the Federal Reserve on the 2nd of November meeting and significant chance that we will see a fifth consecutive 75 basis point hike in December. However, some market watchers still favour the Fed slowing the pace of hikes to 50 basis points for the mid-December meeting, given the intensifying economic headwinds that should allow inflation to fall quickly through 2023. The housing market is going to be a key factor in this. House prices fell for the first time in over 10 years in July, as the surge in mortgage rates prompted a collapse in housing demand. Things have gotten much worse since then, with mortgage applications for home purchases at the lowest level since the housing bear market of 2013. With more supply coming onto the market, the challenge to sell homes is going to increase, which will weigh further on prices and lead to another sharp fall in home builder sentiment this week. Home building looks set to slow further, with existing home sales declining too. So, moving to other data on the slate this week on Monday, October Fed. Empire State Index looking for a negative one print there. Uh, regional surveys still showing a lot of weakness. Then heading into Tuesday, September industrial production looking for a negative 0.1% versus a negative 0.2% print last time out. Weakness in domestic and global demand remains a key risk. And then we get the October NHAB housing price index looking for a 44 print there versus 46 last time out with that housing market under significant and lasting pressure. We'll also hear from Fed Speaker Bostic on Tuesday. Then heading into Wednesday, September housing starts looking for a negative 5.6% print there. September building permits, positive 0.5%. Demand, like I say, is being hit hard by interest rates rising, while input availability continues to limit construction. We'll also get the Fed's beige book uh, to provide an update on economic conditions across the regions. And we'll hear from Fed Speaker Kashkari again. Then heading into Thursday, we will get obviously uh, initial jobless claims of remaining at depressed levels. We'll also get the October Philly Fed Index looking for a negative 4.5 versus a negative 9.9 .9 last time out. As I say, regional surveys continue to demonstrate weakness. We will get September existing home sales looking for a negative 2.2% print there versus a negative 0.4 last time. Uh, decline set to continue given further tightening from the FOMC. We'll also get the September leading index looking for a negative 0.3 versus a negative 0.3 last time. Growth outlook clearly deteriorating in the US. And then another bunch of Fed speakers, Evans, Bullard, Jefferson, Cook and Bowman. Then we round out the week on Friday uh, without any Tier 1 data, but we will hear from Fed Speaker Williams. So moving to the charts, the technical setup. The uh, dollar index continued to gain after that uh, corrective move back into test the uh, just below 110 as support. So what I'm looking for now technically, as we hold above the 112 level, I'm looking for a further upside extension. And the first clue to that being in play will be a close through the 113.75. We look for a retest price cycle highs en route to an ideal 115.80 to 116.04. From there, we're watching for negative divergence, bearish reversal patterns to re-engage on the short side, looking for a pullback in to test the midpoint of the current range, 113.90. At this stage, it would take a close through the 111 handle to suggest we have a more meaningful high in place. And then we will be looking for a test down into the 108.30, uh, the 2022 trendline support zone. Heading to the Eurozone. In terms of data next week, it's a slow start, but uh, we get going on Tuesday with October ZEW survey of expectations, uh, really tanking at this stage and, uh, and printing almost series lows. Last time was a negative 60.7. And then into Wednesday, September CPI, some year over year looking for well, last time we printed 10% and the, uh, we're going to get the final estimate to provide detail on the breadth and the intensity of inflation within the Eurozone. And then we round things out on Friday with October consumer confidence. And again, at series lows, last time out negative 28.8. From a technical perspective, uh, the Euro dollar trading within this triangle in the four hour intraday time frame here, 
So if we can hold uh, between the 97 to triangle support and 96.50s, then we look for a test of the triangle resistance uh, up towards the 99 handle. However, any loss of support at 96.30 is going to be a bearish development, hoping a retest of uh, prior cycle lows at the 95.30s. And then I, we could see things uh, move lower to test the projected descending trend channel support just below the 94 handle. Moving to the UK, and really it's all about the political pantomime that's been playing out there last week with the fiscal U-turn, the sacking of the Chancellor and the induction of a new Chancellor, Jeremy Hunt, who has uh, identified mistakes that have been made in the fiscal policy and uh, in the weekend, over the weekend has been uh, addressing the press saying that there are some difficult decisions ahead. Friday was uh, was a whipsaw day in terms of the markets. Once uh, Kwartang was uh, removed or sacked, uh, we saw a pop, but at the end of the day, uh, we saw a, a continued sell-off in sterling and uh, borrowing rates in the UK hitting highs. In terms of the data next week, on Monday, we get a read on the house price index, the right move house prices. And last time was negative 0 0.7. Uh, looking for more declines to come as policy tightening continues and this situation with respect to uh, borrowing and the gilt markets with the BOE uh, removing support on Friday. There are concerns that we could see a further spike in borrowing rates. Then heading into Wednesday, we will get UK CPI for September. 9.9% last time out. Energy inflation, a key risk as we move into the year end. We round out the week on Friday, October GFK consumer in uh, consumer sentiment at lows, uh, last time out negative 49. We'll also get retail sales, uh, negative 1.6% print last time, uh, negative so far this year, highlighting the pressure on household spend spending. So from a technical perspective, as uh, a sterling dollar retains resistance at the 113.70 area, I'm looking for an extension down into the high volume node, 110.67, and then a test of the equality objective at 108.12. If we can find uh, some support there, then we can look for a retest of the high volume node, 110.60s, and potentially on back into trend channel resistance. Any closing loss of the 108.12 opens 106.26 and 106.03. If we get, if we can't find support there, then we'll be looking for a retest of price cycle lows. But for now, Focus is going to be on the equality objective whilst we hold below 113.80. Uh, moving to Japan, uh, data Monday, August industrial production, looking for a final estimate to confirm the 2.7% print there. And then we head into Friday, um, to the all important September CPI, percent year over year, last time 3%, looking for 2.9%. Price pressure is gradually building and the BOJ has become increasingly focused on wages. Obviously, with US yields retaining their bid tone, uh, that has, uh, has seen the uh, dollar yen continue to grind out to the upside with the differentiation between a BOJ, who are extremely loose in terms of monetary policy, and the FOMC, who are at the spearhead of the tightening regime. But we are coming into an interesting area. We're testing weekly projected trend channel support and the equality objective just below uh, 149. So I'm watching for bearish reversal patterns here to engage on the short side, initially thinking 147.60 to get retested. And then if we can get through there, we'd be looking for a move back down into these price spike highs, 145.80s. Now, importantly, any close, daily close through 148.70s is going to be a uh, continued bullish upside. Uh, risks which should see us then targeting the monthly projected range resistance 150.60 then from there do we see the boj back in action as they uh, as they would be concerned about the rate and the weakness that would be posted in the end there if we do get that 150 test running out the week from a data perspective down under in australia uh, rba minutes on tuesday key insights into that surprise 25 basis point rate hike decision We'll also hear from Deputy Governor Bullock speaking at a conference uh, on Tuesday. Then heading into Wednesday, September Westpac MI leading index slow down to the low trend pace, looks likely to deepen there. Last time negative 0.4% print. Then on Thursday, employment data 
looking for a 25k print there versus 33.5k last time out. Employment was held back in August, but absent sick workers with payrolls, suggesting this effect continued into September. So we're looking at an employment rate there of 3.5%. And, uh, and with some market watchers suggesting we could even see a print there closer to 3.4%. That rounds out the data down under in Australia from a technical perspective. Current setup suggests we should retest price cycle lows. 6160s. I'm actually then looking for a move down into the 61 handle itself, and we'll see there if buyers step in on bargain hunting, and we look for a three-way corrective move back into resistance at 6330s. And running out uh, this week's outlook, let's just check in with that weekend uh, risk barometer. Bitcoin continues really just to trade within this range. We're sitting right in the middle of it at the moment, as defined by the high volume node, just above the 19k level. If we can hold there. We look for a test of range resistance up to 20,300. Any loss really of the uh, 19K, 18,900 would suggest back into test range support down to 18,193. Notice the congestion that's developing with multiple triangles, weekly and daily time frame. We will be anticipating that uh, in due course, we will see a directional drive develop. We still have that downside equality objective sitting at 12,185. And that concludes the weekly market outlook for a week commencing the 17th of October. As always, traders, plan the trade, trade the plan, and most importantly, manage your risk. Until next week, thanks very much.